Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, and today I'll show you how to hard reset the device through recovery mode and also remove a screen lock on top of that if you don't know a pin pattern password to it. So I'm going to quickly lock the device and you can see that I do have a pattern set for this purpose and I'm going to progress from here as though I don't actually know it. So to get started we'll need to forcibly shut off the device by holding power key and volume down. So both of them at the same time. Now we do want to get to the lock screen right here, have it on and the moment you basically stop touching the screen you want to immediately start holding the buttons uh, because uh, when the screen turns off it has like uh, two ways it can turn off uh, one is just kind of like it did right now when the device is still on but when you're holding volume up and or uh, volume down and power key it's gonna reboot the device forcibly which will kind of look like the device went to sleep so that's why you want to see that start it off immediately when you wake up to the device so right now Power key, volume down. Now let's switch to volume up. And I think I held it for a little bit too long. I guess what well, we're about to find out. Oh, nope, it actually seemed to be very good. So as you've seen, uh, the moment the screen turns off, I waited about a second longer and switched from holding volume down to holding a volume up and power key. And this boots me up into recovery mode. Now from here, as you can see, we have a bunch of options, but we're interested in the wipe uh, data factory reset, which is right over here under my finger. And you want to select it using volume keys again. So volume down will go down and up will go up. So wipe data factory reset. There we go. And then power key to confirm that. Again, let's select factory data reset, confirm it. And here you'll see data wipe complete, at which point uh, reboot system now will be selected by default. So let's press party once more. And this will reboot the device and continue the process in the background. So it will take a couple minutes for it to boot back up. And once it has, we should be then greeted with the Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible. And as you can see, now the process is finished and you can set up your device as however you like. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.